uh, uh, slide shows some pictures about these types of trusses and this one actually shows how you can grow a truss like this right. Once again you start with the basic triangular form, but it is not a closed truss these are fixed directly to the foundation right. So, uh, you have only one free joint here right. So, the number of members required is m equals 2 j that is 2 members. Then once again for every new joint you need 2 new members. Right? j equals 2 m equals 4. For every new joint you need another 2 members j equals 3 m equals 6 right. So, that is how it goes right. So, the basic triangle is j equals 1 m equals 2 right. Of course, there are 3 joints right 3 joints, but only 1 free joint right. So, the formula is based on the number of free joints right. That is just the way the convenient way of looking at the stability of an open truss right. So, here is uh, some pictures of some open trusses. Now, this is a transmission tower sometimes you find these uh, towers you know with these antennas right. The antennas are sometimes used to broadcast uh, you know this, uh, this, this mobile, uh, mobile signals, mobile phone signals. Sometimes they are used to connect electricity lines right. So, this is just one two dimensional truss sometimes you have on each four sides you have four of these connected together. So, if you if you look at the behavior of one right, very often they are fixed directly to the foundation like this also. So, here you have one two three four five six seven free joints right and of course, once again I must say that you know uh, ensuring that there are triangle that there are triangles is a reasonable way of making an initial guess right making sure there are triangles. But you cannot make that triangle uh, concept you cannot make it a rule right. Yeah, I showed you there are examples where there is not a rule and there is another one here also where it is stable, but it does not only have it does not have only triangles right. So, here you have how many members? So, the number of members required is 14 right 7 free joints. So, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 right. Now, uh, well, how did we make this one here? So, this is like a cantilever roof right. Uh, now, you start with our, our, our basic triangle that is 2 fixed joints and 1 free joint. So, that part is stable. Now, if I want to make another stable joint I have to connect it to a stable point or joint here and now I choose to connect it well not to this joint, but I uh, start another joint there. And because it is connected directly to well foundation does not have to be only ho horizontal it can be vertical as well right right. So, so I connect it here and then uh, this also will be stable this joint will be stable and then of course, I have another joint here connected to these two stable joints and that also will be stable. So, there are three uh, free joints there the number of members required is 6 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we are ok even though it is not made up only of triangles right. So, these are different sort of combinations right. Uh, so, I am not going to spend as much time on uh, uh, the open trusses very similar to closed trusses, but of course, uh, you have uh, you have uh, a different formula right different formula ok. Right. Hmm. right. We can now move on to three dimensional trusses. Now, the basic form now I said you start in a two dimensional truss right we have a triangle right a triangle to start with. So, the basic form of a three dimensional uh, truss is, is a word called a tre tetrahedron right a tetrahedron. Right a tetrahedron right. So, uh, so I am sure you know the word for this in Sinhala and Tamil can uh, 
I know the word in Sinhala is called Chatustale, right? Four, four planes. What's the Tamil word for it? Anybody can tell me? Four, four planes? Who will tell me? I don't know which of you speak Tamil. Can one of you tell me? Who speaks Tamil? You studied in Tamil? English medium. What, four, four, four planes? What is the name? No one is going to tell you. Huh? No? Sorry, I, I don't know whether you are Tamil speaking or Sinhala speaking. I can't look at your face and tell. <laughs> you don't volunteer. I should not give the Sinhala word without giving the Tamil word. You can tell me? Yeah, thanks. Naan Ah, Naan Budi. Right, okay. Okay. So you get the idea of four there, right? Right. My, uh, okay. Right, okay. So, so, so the Singhala also has the idea of four, right? So that, that's a Greek word, right? So hedron means side actually, right? Hedron means side and tetra means four, right? So by the time you finish your course, uh, you will know the entire Greek alphabet, right? I don't know whether you know the Greek language, right? Because we use Greek for a lot of these symbols, right? Okay. Anyway, tetrahedron is a very stiff, stable form, right? So when you add a new joint to a tetrahedron, which itself has how many? Four joints and six members, right? Can you see? You can see. You can imagine that this is the base of it. So you have one, two, three members at the base, and vertically you have another three members, six members, and four joints, right? So m equals four, j equals six. Now, when you add a new joint to that, earlier in a two-dimensional truss, two members were enough. But now you can you ha you have to think of these as universal joints, right? Meaning that you it allows the it allows rotation in any direction, right? So, if you just connect it with this member and this member, right, you know this, this triangle here, if you just connect it with this, that one and that one, it will just start sort of rotating like that, right, without, without anything to stop it, right. It will be rotating about that axis if you just connect it with two members. But if you use the third member, then it will be fixed in space, right. So, for every new joint, we need three members, right. So, you, you can do, go home and do this, like, like you know, you can, so, see the thing is, I think I have told you many times in this lecture, I do not have time to do all of these in the lecture, but I will give you ideas about what you can do. You can use a table like this, right. So, in the first case, you have 3 and 6, sorry, 4 and 6. In the next one, you will have uh, 5 and uh, 9, like that you can go on, right and try to get this rule, but this is the rule, I am telling you the rule, m equals 3 j minus 6, right, m equals 3 j minus 6. Another way that you can think about it is that, okay, the number of members required is 4, sorry, 6 for the start, 6 for the start and for every new joint greater than 4 joints, for every new joint greater than 4 joints, you need to have 3 new members, right. These are the four original joints which were associated with these six members, right. So, you will have 6 plus 3 j minus 12 which will give you your 3 j minus 6, right. So, here you can see that it obeys the rules, m, m required is 6 and you have provided 6, m required is 9 and you have provided 9 members, right. So, for 3D open trusses, if you have an open trusses, you have your tetrahedron, but you do not have the bottom, bottom connections. It is connected directly to the foundation. So, you have only one free joint instead of four total joints. You have one free joint and three members. So, once again for every additional joint, you need three more members, right. So, you have j equals 1, m equals 3, j equals 2, m equals 